Hello, this is going to be another part of our black belt work, and we're on page 22, but going further down the page than the last lesson, so this is lesson number two. If you haven't seen the first lesson, I'd highly encourage you to review that, to make sure you watch that and practice along with it, because we were introduced to these notes that are called half notes. They're different from our quarter notes by how they look and what we do. Quarter notes are filled in. They are one count. Half notes are not filled in, and that's a way to show that they are different, okay? that they are going to actually last for two counts. The song that we're looking at in this video is called Grandparents Day, and it's one of the Black Belt songs that we have for our ribbon tests. Okay? So this has all of the different kinds of notes that we've been working on. It has our new half notes that look like this. It has our new quarter notes, or not new, we've been using these since the beginning, that look like this in our one count, and it also has our fast eighth notes. All right, and if you look at the beginning, think about what kind of note starts off the song, okay? It starts with a quarter note. I want to show you a couple of different ways that we can get to know the rhythm of this song. The rhythm, the pattern of long and short, short and super long is really important. You can't pass the song unless you've got the rhythm totally down. All right. First off, I would like to play it for you. And I'm playing on a violin, but the melody sounds the same on any instrument. Follow along. This is number 80, Grandparents Day. We're on page 22. If you're not there yet, please pause the video and make sure you are there. Grandparents stay. One, two, ready, go. heard that there are three different speeds of notes in there. I'd like you to grab your bow and we're going to do some speed things right out in front of us. So this is doing the step of doing air bow and saying the rhythm for any quarter note. The notes that are filled in but are not connected. We're going to say the word long. When we have pairs of eighth notes that are connected at the top, we're going to say there's usually just two there are just two in a row in this song, so we'll say short, short. There's one short for each of those little blobs, okay? And then for our half notes that are not filled in, those are two counts. We will say super long, and our bow is also going to move super slow, like that. Okay, I want you to see this the first time. See, try to say it with me, and then we'll add in our bows for the air bow step. Remember, we start with long. One, two, ready, go. Long, 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 short, short, long, long, super long, 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 short, short, long, long, super long, 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 short, short, long, long, super long, 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 short, short, long, short, short, super long. Pause the video and try saying it on your own. And now let's try adding in our bow, okay? So we're going to be moving our bow at the same speed as we're seeing these notes and rhythms. Ready, set, and here we go. Long, 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 short, short, long, long, super long, 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 short, short, long, long, super long, 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 short, short, long, long, super long, 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 short, short, long, 
Short, short, super long. Did you end with a pull down bow? Did you end with a long, a super long note? If you did, I think you were probably right on with me. Fantastic. The rhythm of this song, the pattern of long and short, short and super long is the most important part that I want you to know. If you are looking to do kind of extra work on this, okay, some, some ways that you can respond to this activity. Number one, you could just do the air bow like that. I want you to be steady while you say it and while you move your bow. Make sure that you, I can see your bow in there. Um, you could also do this pattern on an open string of your choice. Think of it like a rhythm pattern. I'll just do a short example, but when you when you reply, I'd like you to do the whole thing. Like long, long, short, short, long, long, super long, 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 short, short, long, long, super long. That's an example of just the beginning part, the first line, doing it as a rhythm wrap. Now, if you want to go for the challenge, I want you to practice the notes as well, okay? I know I've had you label notes for some of our recent songs, but I encourage you, try to just name those notes and then add your fingers while you play. One more time just to hear the whole song and you choose your way to practice right now, whether you're doing air bow or maybe you're playing on an open string or you might want to just listen right now. Maybe you're even ready to do that final step of playing it um, arco. Woohoo! Here we go. This is grandparents say. One, two, ready, go. <laughs> to say one last thing this is like a, this is a really cool song if you have grandparents who live somewhere near you and you can share the song with them awesome you could even do a short video for them just even if it's you, you can share whatever you've learned so far about the song um oh here's what i was gonna say you can also practice this pizzicato, but share something with me of how you're practicing this song this week, and you can keep on going up a practice level. Remember that sometimes it's also helpful to do part of a line at a time to break it up into smaller chunks when you practice. That can be a really helpful way to master a section and then put those sections together and eventually do the whole song. Thanks for tuning in today, you guys. Can't wait to see you for our next lesson. Bye-bye.